Thank you very much, Josephine, for presentation and thanks to organizers for invitation to to the nice Lisbon that I plan to to see. <laughs> okay, so what is your connotation when you hear the word delay, positive or negative? <laughs> In this talk, I. I supposed to be strictly positive, but yesterday <laughs> I had my lost <laughs> baggage, so <laughs> I'm not completely sure <laughs> that this delay is <laughs> positive. But in this talk, it is strictly positive. I will talk about using delays for control. So, what do I mean by using delay? This Ah, time delay approaches to control problems that may have no original delays. For instance, I will talk about the old time delay approach to sample date control and the new one to averaging, which is, uh, which is applied, for instance, to some power system, so to extreme seeking, which is online optimization. And here there are no original delays, but time delay approaches achieves the first quantitative bounds on the uh, frequency of oscillations, which were not uh, available before by classical methods. And I will uh, talk about using artificial delay for control. So uh, you using your feedback intentionally, you insert delay in order to achieve your control objective. Okay, so delay may preserve the stability here. It was very nice because this was on delay on my way to CDC and I was in time on welcome and my luggage was with me. It was fine. So, <laughs> so small delay usually preserve the robustness. But we have, uh, we need some tools that guarantee that a certain bound of delay preserve whatever you plan to do. And in some cases, when delay becomes larger for a certain application.